So now that I've talked about the server or storage or networking type nameplates, the next one is the PDU, the power distribution unit. And this one's probably just as bad, right? It's got all the stuff there. I mean, at least on this one I show you, there's product safety, there's EMC, there's environmental compliance stuff. But PDUs can support multiple line cords, just like servers can, but the big thing with PDUs is based on the line cord that's attached. You can see here, there's just all kinds of different amperage ratings, depending on what you're connecting. I only went, I'm only gonna go through this one to help you understand what you, you might need to know for let's say a, a, a US or North American installation. And this, this nameplate is a, a little bit different than what I showed you with some of the server stuff in that You'll see the voltage 200 to 208. You'll see that it's 24 amps. The first thing that'll tell you, if you take the 24 amps and use the electrical code, you know, the, what, what's in there talks about multiplying by 125% to get the service. 24 amp will be a 30 amp service. 48 will be a 60 amp service. So from the nameplate here, you know the type of service you have to supply to the PDU. The second thing, you notice that this one does not have KVA listed here. But again, use the low line voltage, 200 times 24, 200 times 48, and there it is. It's 4.8 KVA or 9.6. So all the information is there. You just might have to do some of the calculations yourself. And again, it's the same thing. Electrical code type stuff when you're using this. You're thinking about your service, your premise wiring and everything back that's, that's protecting your load.